Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about vermiculture, worm farming, and the different kinds of worms and compost systems that you can use to get rid of your kitchen scraps and keep them out of the landfill. Today we're looking in on our worm bin lasagna bin. So what this is, is this is just stacking layers of cardboard and food and letting the worms just kind of figure it out and move up as the cardboard disintegrates. We're gonna kind of disassemble the lasagna here and see what we've got. These are the uh, worm compost tea bags. I've been throwing them in the lasagna bin so that they can get uh, used up. So let's have a look and see. This has had water, but it has not had any visits for about a month. I'll put exactly what the time frame has been since the last time we've looked in on this. All right, so we're getting down to uh, what we have for occupants of the bin, and what we have is, looks like some gnats, and then we have some isopods here. And as we keep pulling things apart, you can tell that I think I gave them some worm chow or maybe some grain, and it is molding. That is one of the things the isopods are good for, is breaking stuff down and making it available to the worms. So we'll pull that off as well, and we'll keep digging. So I do have, it looks like the worms did not really get into that grain very good and that hopefully they found something to eat a little bit deeper into the lasagna bin because it certainly looks like the isopods are having a ball in here. Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> the worms, it looks like there's enough moisture in here. I think down here in the deepest layers where there is no more cardboard looks like they're getting into things. We've got the corn cobs here that they are working on. Looks like they haven't gotten in them so deeply that they're in the middle. But I'm going to kind of flip this over a little bit, make sure there's nothing terrible. The moisture is a little bit wet down here. Normally these layers all kind of dissolve at the same time. This time around, not so much. It looks like the bottom is completely disintegrating and the uh, the top is staying kind of dry so we're gonna have to remake this. This bin pretty much cycles just as fast as one of my bins that has the regular prepared bedding only I don't make the bedding I just give them shredded cardboard. We had a bit of a boo-boo at one point where the bin got overly wet because of a burst pipe but uh, other than that, they have made all of this castings out of just sheets of cardboard, no shredding at all. So let's, let's kind of rebuild the lasagna bin and get some of these moldy layers down deep so that they can work on them. It looks like maybe that mold made things a little too dry and the worms, you know, could not get at it. So we'll just bend that over move these things over oops move these things over here and put those on the bottom so they can get worked on so the premise behind this bin originally was that worms like to be inside of corrugated cardboard i was always seeing that when there was corrugated cardboard in my bins that i had a lot of breeding taking place it seems like they liked it to go like to go in between the layers and in the flutes to deposit their cocoons so i thought well why not make a whole bin and we can do kind of two experiments in one is it really good for breeding and then also if you don't have a shredder or you don't want to go to the trouble of shredding cardboard you can just lay it down in layers just like this and you don't have to worry about it so let's get these compost bags laying down there so they can get worked on and then we'll put a full sheet here covering the whole thing and then let's get them some food. This bin hasn't been fed in probably almost a month so let's give them some you know a good amount. We've got some bananas and celery, avocados, looks like some noodles, bread, mango. So this will be a good feeding for them. There's probably over a pound of worms in here so it will it will be great for them to have a large feeding um, now I'm going to show you how I top off this bin, so give me a second. So when the bin does get a new noodle, I make sure that it's nice and wet 
and it's something that the worms can get at. So this is an egg carton top. So that will be the new top noodle. Maybe put part of it over there to kind of weigh that down. Seems like that, maybe that celery stock is kind of making everything stand up a little bit here. But tell me what you think of this experiment. Um, you know, it's, it's really easy. You don't have to shred any paper. Plus, I think the worms really do like breeding in here. In fact, here's a little baby worm that I'm going to put deeper in there. He doesn't need to be on top. They generally don't go any place where it's dry. All right, well, if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. I will link the playlist to this particular project over here. And YouTube, of course, thinks you will like this video over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.